Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Clear Image, and um, we are going to do another what sold video for the first half of May. Today is May 15th when I'm doing this. And uh, so yeah, May's been a slower month than prior months. Um, also been selling my least expensive items mostly this month too, so no high dollars. Um, but yeah, but I'm excited because Minnesota has now agreed to open up the retail stores again starting next Monday the 18th. So um, hopefully we'll be able to start doing some more haul videos in the next week or two. But anyway, let's get into what's sold. Um, if you watch some of my haul videos, you'll recognize this little transistor radio I found at the bins a couple months ago. So this sold for a full asking price of $20 plus shipping. Eh, just a neat little piece. Next is a George George's Briard um, plate. It's, this is a small one. It's only six and a half inch plate. Actually, it's a part of a larger set, but I just found the one plate at an estate sale. <clears throat> and uh, so, again, I sell every George's Briard piece I get, and fairly quickly. So, so somebody likes George's Briard. Um, but this old rate, $99 plus shipping. Next is this Nippon bowl. It was a beautiful square bowl. Um, and uh, I found, the, I'm trying to remember where I got this. I think I got this at one of the Goodwills <clears throat> at the stores. And uh, But it's hand painted Nippon. A very beautiful piece, great condition, beautiful colors. And so this sold for $13.99 plus shipping. Um, this is a jewelry kit. It started out with just um, these beads. This I found at the bins. Um, but then I added a bunch of broken jewelry bits and extra beads and some kids' beads and stuff to the lot um, that I was just had around hanging around. I thought, oh, let me just throw it in, in here and see if I can get it sold. So we did end up selling it. And I did take an offer, I believe, of $22 on this. Plus shipping. So next were these two little Japan trinket boxes, or Oriental trinket boxes. I won't say Japan. I don't know where they came from, but I think they're Japanese. But here's the original price stickers that were marked 50% off the 12.50 when they were new. Um, just beautiful little trinket boxes, and I don't remember where I even got these. So, um, but these sold for $20. Free shipping on this. This was rare that I do free shipping, but I did on this one. So, um, and if you watch some of my DIY videos, I recently did this lampshade with some vintage fabric. And so I sold this, um, and I did accept a best offer on this plus shipping. So it went to someone in Chatek, Wisconsin, where my daughter used to teach. So that was pretty cool. Um, this is another large jewelry lot. Uh, all of these bracelets came from the bins. You know, I pick them up, you know, one at a time. As I go there, I just root around and find loose stuff. I pick it up and uh, then I make lots of them, like in this case. So this sold for $17 plus shipping. Um, again, I don't make big dollars on this, but it's nice to just get them going and save them from going to the garbage bins. Um, these two cruel pieces I just picked up last Friday. Um, at an estate sale I went to and uh, these sold let's see these two sold within two hours of me posting them um, and in this particular case it's $14.99 um, but I screwed up on the shipping again twice this month now I've done it where I marked them as free shipping and because of where they ended up going um, it cost me $10 in shipping so I actually lost money on these little guys like two dollars worth <laughs> ah it's the hazards of running your own business sometimes you make mistakes and you know, hopefully learn but that's twice this month so i don't know if i've learned yet or not but we'll see we'll keep trying see what we come up with um now this is a lot of thimbles um that i've picked up various places i think a couple of these from the bins a couple from in a state sale um and so I threw them in as a lot, six pieces, um, sold them within, uh, I think, like 15 minutes of me posting them. 
they sold for full asking price $17.99 plus shipping. So great deal, fun little. There's three sterling um, silver. These are the three sterling silver thimbles. There is these two which are made in England thimbles, and then there was a mother pearl thimble. So they were just neat little thimbles. And I've been able to, again, last time I had a lot of thimbles, they sold within half hour of me posting them. So um, so I like thimbles, so I'll keep picking them up. Again, I don't, you know, just general ones, I don't usually pick up, but I look for ones that are unusual um, or sterling. Then this is a um, cashmere scarf, brand new in the package. My wife and I picked this up at a estate sale beginning of March and um, posted it. Sold $14.99 for free shipping, but the same person bought these two um, cruel work, which I also picked up at that estate sale last Friday with the other two pieces that just sold. Um, so I ended up selling all four pieces, all four these pieces of cruel work framed um, within the same day that I bought them. And I usually don't list things that quickly when I get them, but I did these because I got home listed them or I did the whole video then listed them and then they sold right away and shipped them off so the same person bought these two and the scarf so um so that was a good deal and then this blister pearl pendant which I found at the bins and you guys helped me identify it um way back then I actually sold twice the first time the person said they couldn't pay for it so I relisted it sold again um for full asking price $24.99 plus shipping and uh yeah, it's beautiful piece. The back is sterling silver. And uh, so, yeah, saved it from the bins. Here's a Peter Rabbit a little um, breakfast set with a plate, a bowl, and a little mug. So this one I picked up at a Goodwill store, I think, for $3. And I had this quite a while, but it finally sold for $12.99 plus shipping. So... And so the other thing I did was I had a bunch of miscellaneous sterling silver pieces that I decided to throw into a lot. Um, the can the large candlestick, which is a 10 inch candlestick was Mark Sterling bracelet, Mark Sterling, small candlestick, Mark Sterling. Um, and this little candy dish with the base was broken, um, was also Mark Sterling. So I, um, just threw them into a lot and these are weighted now the reason I did the candlesticks is at the base both of them are dented and it'd be very difficult to fix that and difficult to try to sell them that way so I thought I'll just throw them out here as a scrap lot so I did that put out as a scrap lot and it sold within half an hour of me listing it so uh, yeah so if you got dented old silver that's sterling don't don't feel it's useless go ahead and throw it out on a lot because you it, somebody's looking for that um next thing is this stifle lamp i picked this up at the bins oh and most of that sterling in fact all pieces of that sterling silver came from the bins too i don't know if i mentioned that but this little stifle lamp also came from the bins um and it's only like a 12 inch lamp so it's a very small lamp um, no shade, but, and I've had this one for a while. This one I picked up back in December. Um, sold for $24.99. They sent me an offer, which I accepted, and off it goes. This one also is free shipping, usually on lamps. I do offer free shipping just to be a little more competitive um, if I do sell lamps. But again, I try not to do too many lamps, large lamps at least. The smaller lamps are okay, but they just get expensive to ship. And then um, my wife and I went to an estate sale again the beginning of March. It's the same one we got the purple scarf, actually. And um, I had watched part-time pickers, and he talked about picking up hearing aids at estate sales and how much they could be a great value um, because nobody knows what to do with them. So you can pick them up pretty cheap, but they go for good money. So this one we picked up. One of the things they recommend is that you clean them, test them, I'm like, I didn't want to do anything with that. Now, this also happened to have like three packages of batteries. So there were like 60 batteries all total, uh, brand new in the packages. And my father-in-law uses 
the same size of hearing aid battery so we actually bought bought it as a package for him and then I thought I can you know see about selling this um, hearing aid um, so I threw that out and again that sold same day I listed it um, I did accept best offer and honestly I don't remember what I accepted as best offer but I was more than happy to get what I got out of it and uh, I didn't test it, didn't clean it, didn't do anything for it other than shipping it. It did have the manual and the other little tools for cleaning and all that. But um, And what's interesting is Starkey, the manufacturer of this hearing aid, is just down the road. Uh, their main headquarters is just down the road from where I live. And so far, the last item, I've picked this up at the bins. I picked up a number of these cool work needle point pieces, unframed. Um, and I'm finally just getting to listing them. And again, this one sold in a day after me listing it um, for $17.99 plus shipping. Um, this one I really thought was cool because this fern, they actually made it stand out. So it looks like it's 3D. Um, there's loose fronds, if you will, that, that uh, stick out. I tried to get a good picture of it, but it's kind of hard. But it um, gives a little more 3D effects, which is really cool. So I really like that. Um, and so that went in the mail today. So anyway, so that's what we have sold in the last two weeks. And again, I've not been selling a lot of high dollar items. Oh, let me do this. I want to show you one more thing, if I may indulge you. Um, this is kind of how I track what I sell and um, by month and by item oops something's messing up here let me see if i can get back there i think it's because i'm doing this screensaver thing it's not sure what to do let me see let's get back here there it goes okay so this is my this is a summarized excel spreadsheet of every month since i started and so i have my how much it, the items cost me how much my gross sales without shipping is so this is just what the item sold for. Um, then I have shipping as a separate column, my eBay and PayPal fees. And then I do my net profit. So this is how much per month that I'm making on these items. Now, um, and then I keep track of how many have sold and then an average price. And you can tell this month I'm just, my average so far is just a little over $10 an item, whereas the last few months it's ranged from 15 to 20. Um, so I sold a lot higher dollar items, um, whereas this month they're much smaller dollars. So making less money, and I did screw up on two of them where I screwed up the shipping, so that lowers the cost on that too. Um, but then I also track whether where I got them from, um, whether it's from the bins, whether it's from thrift stores or whether it's from estate sales, um, garage sales, or if they're just our personal items. And then um, that this spreadsheet comes from this one where I actually track each individual item and in my with my inventory number and throw it on this spreadsheet and this tells me how much per item. And you can see here where I lost two dollars on that item because of the shipping and the five watches. I lost $2.47. Oh, I didn't show those on my what sold. Um, but I thought I showed those in the last one. Anyway, so yes. So I lost $4.50 basically because of not paying attention to my shipping specifications. So uh, that's the way life goes sometimes. And then um, this is the other thing is my inventory list here. But the other thing I want to show on here, the other thing I track is this stuff I sell on Facebook Marketplace and at the thrift, at the antique store, the Pink Elephant, um, which of course has been closed April and most of May now. And I had contact them to find out what my March sales were yet. I do know I sold a number of things, but I haven't filled that in yet. So then I get my gross profit um, in this column from all sources. So or my net profit rather. So that's kind of how I track it. And again, you can see I'm not making, you know, big dollars here, but my goal is to make at least 500 a month, um, which most months I've exceeded that. 
Um, I may so far probably won't hit that, but um, I'm happy with that at the moment. And again, it's because I don't have a lot of space, so I don't can't deal with a lot of large items. I just deal mostly with smaller items that I can ship quickly. So, and that's what's happening in May. I, as soon as I'm listing them, they're shipping. So that's that's good. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, following along in this fun journey I have since retiring from the corporate world. But hope you guys stay safe, take care, and we'll catch you later. Bye.